Hey, what is up, guys? Tyron in here, and to welcome to another tech review. And uh, today we're going to review the Serial King G9 Precision Tracking Mouse. And uh, it's pretty cool, though. The packaging is uh, the packaging is pretty awesome. Like, see that combination of black and red, and it really attracts my eye. So I was like, oh my god, the packaging is cool. I would totally buy it. I totally, I totally bought it just for the packaging and not for the mouse. No, I'm just joking. Of, of course, I just bought it to use it. And yeah. So as you can see at the back, oh, you can actually, can you actually read it? Precision control, precision, uh, fuck. Precision scroll controller. <laughs> Excuse me. 4 DPI settings, 1000, 1200, 1600, 2400 and the power indicator freezing light wait, this mouse is breathing? what the hell? is this alive? no I'm just joking so the uh, gaming grade laser sensor optional controllers like the see over there and yeah and it has the racer logo in it and uh, uh wait is that the razor no the razor logo is like a freaking snake so it has the wait can you see it can you see it can you see it gold plated usb and uh, i think the gold plated usb is uh like kind of dust uh i mean dust rust proof for the uh, usb yeah usb stick and uh it has a three months free service warranty. I bought it for 320 pesos. And it's a budget gaming mouse for you guys, for you gamers out there. And it has some lightning color effects like red, yellow, blue. Wait. Wait, I'm color blinded, am I? Red, green, blue, and yellow. Yeah. And of course, it's uh, compatible for Windows 8 and uh, Mac, Mac, or I don't know what you call that in your language. And full feature drivers, you can download the drivers in uh, in the website if it won't work on your PC. The the DPI settings, high precision hyper response buttons, and Sun Plus gaming sensor. And gaming on the logo. I don't know what does that what does what does do. And uh, the packaging is pretty cool, as you can see. I'll move my hand out. The packaging is pretty cool and actually attracts my eye. And I was like, oh my god, the packaging is cool. I'm going to buy it right now. And yeah. So, okay, look at it uh, anytime you want. Okay, that's enough. So, uh, we're going to open the product right now. And uh, as you can see, the the wire is pretty tangled and it's not tied up because before I buy the product I might want to test it in the shop in the city King so I'm all, I won't get uh, maybe it's like a second hand what second hand maybe it's like broken or something that I, like the mouse I buy I bought from city King before like I was like no oh, I know it for testing and when I got home the white mouse button was like pretty uh, loose and I can't click and I yeah I play League of Legends and I can't really press the right click button with that one so I uh, of course go, get, go back to uh, Cedar King and I was like your mouse is broken and yeah I, test, I tested the product so you might see the packaging is like pretty loose right here and yeah let's open the product so if you might want to know the name of the product is MOSG049UWG I don't know what does that mean but that's probably the name of the unit G9 Precision Tracking So many of you guys out there saying about CDR King items or products were easily be broken Well for me it's not how they manufacture the product it's how you handle the product with care yeah, that's for my opinion. If if you have any experience, just comment down below and let's talk about it. So yeah, 
This is the actual mouse. There's the middle mouse button, the DPI sensor, left mouse button, right mouse button, and the forward and backward for the browser, and the uh, room for the thumb. So, wait, does all gaming mouse have this? This is pretty cool. Oh my god, I, wa I, I can touch this all day. Shut up. So, it's like a, a room for the thumb. So, if you like scroll. Your thumb won't get a scratch from this side, and yeah, it's pretty uh, ergonomic. The ergonomic design makes me want to uh, makes me want to don't want to use it because it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, see the king with the laser razor logo right there, G9, and uh, you can see right there. Yeah, I don't know what what you call this one. Oh my god, this is pretty cool. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I can touch this all day. I can touch this. Okay, so let's check the cord length. Like, two thousand years later. So I must say the cord length probably is one mile because it's pretty freaking long. I'm just joking, it's probably like 15 inches. And I don't know for I don't know how long 15 inches is in centimeter. You go you go guys check ahead on Google. I don't wanna waste my time with that. So yeah the as I as I said before, USB gold plated, so frost proof. There we go. And I don't know what does this do. I think this is the power source. I'm just joking. It's not the power source. I don't. I, I have no idea what does this do. So let's review the pros and cons. The pros is pros. Pros or the like positive review. This side is it's actually pretty cool. Like you have a room for your thumb. Have actually a room for the thumb, so you won't scratch your thumb or have any. Uh, like what do you call them? I don't know what do they call them in uh, in English. I in Filipino we call it like kalio. <coughs> and yeah, uh, another pros is it has DPI sensor, which is pretty cool for me, and you can adjust the sensitivity of the mouse. For uh, precision, high precision gaming, like League of Legends, Crossfire, Dota 2, and any land game you prefer, and uh, left mouse, right click, and uh, yeah, that's uh, the pros. And let's review the cons or the negative reviews. It has a big, totally big size for my hand. I can't like. Oh my god. I can't easily like move my hand around with this big old mouse. You can see my hand, it's pretty big. Right? And the mouse, it's pretty big for me. You can see like my yes, my mouse is my hand is pretty big for the mouse, but I think I'll get to use it soon when I uh, used it. And uh, it has a pretty long cord. If it's actually for desktop it's really a, a negative review for me. I like a down check, like a down one. Like it might get tangled. It might get tangled on your uh, desktop, and uh, yeah, the buttons are pretty hard to press. It, the buttons are pretty sketchy, and uh, yeah, another. Uh, other negative side like I don't know where does this comes from it's a pretty dirty sticker I don't know if they used it before uh, I hope not <clears throat> and uh, yeah or, or, or overall the mouse is pretty cool it's pretty good for gaming <clears throat> and yeah another negative is like the mouse is made of plastic like 
you can see through the video like it's made of plastic you can easily identify it right like like if you are dropped it like it's it would probably it would probably be a uh, broken because as you can see like look the mouse is pretty uh made from plastic and uh I think you should handle you should really handle this mouse with care so yeah this is only for desktop use don't use it for uh, internet cafe because kids like like to bang around the mouse like that and uh, yeah it's pretty cool for me and you like my uh, background hello kitty no I'm just joking so uh, yeah that's all for the review I'm gonna write the pros and cons at the end of the video so you can understand it clearly because my English is pretty bad and I'll get used to it some over time yeah see the king like 320 pesos it's in like two wait it's like ten dollars budget gaming mouse yeah so thank you guys for watching again my name is Tyronin and I'm gonna see you on another video on Force 51 gaming headset CDR King so yeah uh, subscribe down below so we would make another review for any product and uh, comment down below what do you think about this product and I might I might uh, make another video about about the comment section and yeah like this video so and share it to your friends who might want to buy this product first before you might, uh, you might want to watch this video first before buying the product because they don't they might uh, don't like it because it's pretty big for my hand as I said like that and uh, again thank you guys for watching my name is Tyronin and I'll talk to you all later so yeah I like FPS is uh, what can I say there's nothing like the rush of hunting people down and killing them I mean my heart's beating my heart's beating my hands are shaking my hands are shaking but I'm still shooting I'm still getting the headshots it's like boom headshot boom headshot I'm still getting the headshots it's like boom headshot boom headshot